Despite stigmas that texting is only for young people, data shows that people of all ages find it a useful way to communicate. Texting is ubiquitous. And, you know, there's, there's beliefs that texting, oh, that's for millennials, that's for young folks. Um, the statistics just don't bear that out. Um, I just did some uh, recent research. And what's interesting is the fastest growing demographic group uh, for texting is age 55 and above. And what's interesting about that is when you compare the number of text messages sent and received for that age group, plus 55 and above versus making phone calls, it still outnumbers, uh, texting still outnumbers calls at a rate of three to one. You go down to the 18 to 24 age group, you're talking a 20, 20 to one ratio. You know, you go into the 45 to 54 a year old uh, age group, it's, you know, a five to one ratio. So there's no question about it that texting is a preferred mode of communication for many people. And being that that is, in fact, the case, it's really incumbent on us and our dealership clients to offer um, an engagement involving text. What we're seeing at the dealer level when we offer the option to, um, to text in addition to call and email, we're seeing an uptick as high as 30% increase in engagements. I have a, uh, a teenage boy who's 17 and I have a daughter who's 22 and I have a saying, which is when you absolutely positively need to get in touch with them, what do you do? And everyone answers that question, you text. So that's just the reality of the world that we live in that there's a very large percentage of the public who um, preferred texting over talking, or at least would like to initiate a dialogue with somebody uh, through texting, and then you can evolve from there and move the phone and then a face-to-face -face meeting.